I'm building a pool pump and spa control system uh, out of these timer relays. These are going to just delay uh, on make basically uh, as a four hour timeout. So these will either energize, uh, excuse me, they will either close the circuit when energized and then open when de-energized or it will automatically open after four hours. So basically it's so the customer can just flip on the uh, what will be the spa jet pump that goes through the heater and to the jets and then there's another set of jets uh, uh, available as well via another switch and both of those pumps will be as well as the heater will be on the auxiliary the heater enable so it will shut off when the primary pump is off after four hours or three hours or whatever the customer decides so um, it's a uh, pretty simple and uh, these these relays themselves can't handle the pump amperage uh, so we'll be doing that with these open just uh, general purpose relays here just open contactors and I mount every I got this nice uh, weatherproof it's kind of one of those in-ground boxes and I got uh, some, I don't know where I put it right now, but I got uh, some pieces of DIN rail, which is what this mounts to. And then I have some clips that are going to mount up to these relays and make them mount to the DIN rail as well. So I'll probably have, uh, probably have it all in one row, to be honest. Uh, no, it'll have to be two, two rows, some timers up here, uh, relays down there. Uh, all this is going to be line voltage. There's no uh, control transformers or anything. So uh, line voltage on these coil on the coil and this is uh, 240 as well so. so this has kind of a scary looking technical sheet here um, but it's a little more complex you know there's a lot more information here than I need uh, for this application if it would focus that'd be nice but I'm not sure if I'm going to get that there we go you can see the uh, position of the function, function switch there. Number two is fleet, fleeting on make. That's the one I need. You also see delay on energization. That might be a useful one as well. Um, but for what we're doing here, we need fleeting on make. And that means it will it will um, de-energize after four hours of being on or when it gets de-energized. And then you look over here into the terminal designations, and that's going to give us pretty much all the other information we need. Okay, so if my calculations are correct here, I set it to function switch number two, or this function switch to position number two. I set the timer to the 300 minute range. And then I am getting what I believe is 0.8 of that range by putting it there. There's a couple numbers missing from this, but it's because they don't fit. You see 0.01 is all the way over there. And then uh, yeah, you see 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 or the blank, yeah. You have 0 0.01, and then the next one would be 0 0.1, and the next one's 0 0.2. And then down here, you have 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then 1 being the full range. So, again, 0 0.8 of 300 should be 4 hours. 0 0.8 of 300 minutes should be 4 hours, if I did my math correctly. So... That should be that. I'll set both of them to that, and that should be all the setup we need to do. And I'll find some kind of way to uh, test it as well. So we have the uh, makings here. There's some more of the makings of our panel. Uh, got a grounding bar, strip, whatever you want to call it. Grounding bar. Uh, it's a little longer than I need. I'm thinking, considering uh, it kind of shortening it somehow, cutting one of these sections off. Maybe don't really need that much. So, and then I got uh, these nipples. I think are also going to be a little short. Uh, these are inch and a half. Yeah, 
half inch by inch and a half, so I think I need like two or two and a half. Got these uh, nice. Uh, let's see, what, what are these? 30 amp, I believe. 30 amp switches. Thirty amp double pull. So that'll be the line voltage is going in here first, and then uh, the switches will be sending it to those uh, timed relays in there. Which, by the way, I have that uh, panel. Made some progress on that as well, so I'll show you that. So the timer re uh, timer relays are, are where they're going to be. And then these are uh, not clipped in yet, but that's about where they're going to be. I'm going to put that grounding bar. I don't know. I uh, kind of was planning to put it along the bottom. I may still do that. Might move these up and to the right a little bit. We'll see. But that's, uh, I like where these are. And then, uh, I'm put a terminal strip somewhere in this top hand corner. And I want to have make sure I leave three spaces in a row somewhere to line up the switch boxes. They didn't give me one. Their one switch is coming from a different location, I guess. But it's uh, kind of the way it goes with uh, the big box stores sometimes. So no big deal. I need to get different ones of those anyhow. So. So in this video I'm just showing some of the plumbing work that was done. We added a check valve over here, replaced the backwash valve, uh, added a union there at the pump. Um, had, we replaced the motor for this jet pump, uh, that's the primary circuit. Uh, we made some wiring changes, uh, some changes in the timer, deleted the old control panel, and then this is the new control panel. Uh, the wiring did get cleaned up a little bit more than that <laughs> before it went back together, but that was just kind of the, the testing phase. And the thermostat wire you see there is actually the heater enabled, so it was nice to be able to accomplish that with the same relays we were already using. So the audio for this one was a bit irritating, it just has the sound of the, the pump running, but uh, basically I'd, I just start it from a normal cycle here as the, as the customer would. Um, there was something going on with the Jandy heater here that can uh, the control board inside something was something was cooked or, or whatnot that uh, prevented it from auto enabling or something you had to do it from the panel I don't remember the exact exact details this job was actually quite a while ago now and it had quite a few things happen since then so but yeah anyways it, it, it was effectively doing what it's supposed to and then uh, here in a second I'll go back over to the uh, to the new control panel and it'll show the uh, the time delay LED working basically is is uh, the only indication you get out of these things. You got the green LEDs power on, and then the um, time delay active is the uh, orange LED there. So yeah, this is a, a cool job. I, I like setting up kind of robust electromechanical types uh, control systems when I can. So thanks for watching.